Now, this may not be the message that you want to hear, but it's the one that you need. And I believe that I did not do the subject justice when I tried to cover it in the past, not because I didn't want to, but because I was essentially looking to sugarcoat it, right? I didn't want people to walk away offended, but now I've come to realize that whether somebody's offended or not is not up to me. The truth is oftentimes offensive, especially when we're in love with the lie, but I got to tell the truth because the only way we're going to be set free is if the truth is out there. And so... I made a decision, an executive choice, that I was going to cover this subject as honestly as I possibly could in order for you to truly be free from what we have come to perceive as the energy vampire or the emotional vampire, sometimes the narc or whatever other label may be placed upon this sort of quote unquote individual or personality type. Now, most of us are looking for ways to protect our energy. We've been told that we need to protect our energy, find ways to protect ourselves. And this sounds all good on the surface, but when you get a layer deeper and when you start to realize or come to an understanding of universal law, universal principle. Now, some have come to call it law of attraction, law of vibration, law of resonance, the law, whatever it is that you call it, it does not mind. It is still going to be the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That being said, the law states that like attracts like or like vibration attracts like vibration. Like essence attracts like essence. That's never going to change. That's always going to be the same. And this can be offensive to us when we start looking at the aspects of our lives that show themselves that we do not desire. So when we look at, let's say, the job promotion that you got or the car that came into your life or the soulmate relationship, right? Something that's been this kind of a, a huge aspiration that you've had throughout your life and you fixated on, you focused on it, you gave your energy and attention to it and finally it manifested. We love to take credit for those things. That's easy to take ownership over. That's easy to take responsibility of. However, when it comes to the undesired aspects of our lives, all of a sudden, universal principles gone. Universal law is gone. When we attract the toxic relationship, all of a sudden, it just happened to us, right? Our quote unquote picker is broken. We find different means or different ways in order to absolve ourselves of responsibility and accountability when it is not the thing that we wanted. And so it's the very same when it comes to the quote unquote energy vampire. When we have an individual in our lives who is a quote unquote energy vampire and they are affecting our reality, we blame it upon the individual as opposed to where our own energy is. Now, I'm going to tell this truth straightforward, straight up. I ain't got to wait until the end of the video. The truth is this. The only way in which you can attract anybody into your experience, including the quote unquote energy vampire, is that you are at a resonating frequency or you have a resonating energy that you're giving off into life. That's the only way. I know, I, trust me, I get it. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to accept it either. I did not. I, it was easier for me to say, no, this, this can't be that. This has to be something else. Sure, there's no way that I would accept this into my own life. There's no way that I would allow such a person into my experience. There's no way that I would be vibrating. I'm a good person. Look at them. They're a terrible person. Me, I'm at least a decent person. But in truth, it has nothing to do with the morality of it. It has to do with what energy are we giving off. So some of us will view, let's say, somebody who is abusive as somebody who is bad, evil, wrong. Yet when we do that very same thing to ourselves, we overlook it or we belittle it. Most of us are more abusive to ourselves than anybody ever has been towards us. Most of us have a subconscious program playing that is literally of self-abuse. There's no other way I can name it. There's no other way I can label this. There's no other way I can quantify it. We move through life beating ourselves up continuously, telling ourselves things that, frankly, if somebody was telling us from the outside, we would view that person as abusive and we will find a way to get that person out of our lives. We would not want that person's company. And yet we see this as normal when we do it to ourselves. And then when we're surprised that somebody has come into our life experience and is demonstrating the exact same behaviors towards us. Life is nothing but a mirror. Life is reflecting how we view and perceive ourselves, the belief systems that we hold about us, the beliefs that we hold about life, and of course about those around us. So when you believe that life is untrustworthy or you can never find anybody trustworthy, there, therefore you're going to attract to yourself the very same essence of that belief system. If you do not believe that life is trustworthy, anybody is trustworthy, 
you're going to attract to yourself individuals who are untrustworthy. Now, we play this equation backwards. We think to ourselves, I believe people are untrustworthy because I've had experience of such. Not understanding that the belief starts first. It's always the belief that then manifests and then we use the manifestation as a justification to keep going in those circles, to keep those patterns alive. We already have the toxic relationship dynamics within us. This doesn't mean that we were a quote unquote toxic partner. This simply means we were treating ourselves in a certain way that is then reflected in another person coming into our experience. You know, one that flabbergasts us for some reason is when you have a taker who attracts a giver, quote unquote giver, right? It really is a people pleaser, an individual who is giving for the sake of getting external validation and another person who takes and is in need of that exchange of external validation seeking. So you have two people who are in a frequency or in an energy of fear, in an energy of anxiety, in an energy of lack, who are perfect matches. They attract to each other. They're like magnates. You understand me? They are perfect resonance. They cannot help but attract one another. And we look from the outside and we say, wow, how can this good person attract such a bad person? That's our own judgment. That's our own perception from the outside looking in. When in truth, if you were to see those energies, they are an exact perfect parallel. Both individuals are living at a state of fear. And if I'm to be honest with you, people pleasers are as controlling as anybody. How do I know? Because I am a recovered people pleaser. I was 26 to 25 years on that pipe. You understand me? I was I was smoking on people pleasing. That was my drug of choice. And I lived a majority of my life up until that uh, up until this point looking to create a facade, an image in people's eyes in order for them to give me as much validity as possible. I was looking for external validation. That was my source. I was using people as a source. And so in truth, I was manipulating, I was controlling people through my quote unquote goodness. And I know this sounds so crazy to individuals who have identified themselves as a quote unquote good person, because that's what the ego does. The ego blindsides us to the truth. It does not demonstrate to us that we are the one creating a situation. Instead, it wants to take onus of the things that serve it and it wants to reject the things that, quote unquote, threaten it. And so taking responsibility, according to the ego, that, quote unquote, survival aspect of self is threatening because that says, well, maybe that means something about me. What does that say about me? Maybe I'm at fault. What we don't realize is that once we take that accountability of that responsibility, we now become the one in control. No longer are we a victim to circumstances, but instead we take back the power that is vested within us. But until then, we will continue to manifest situations that are undesired. We will continue to find ourselves in relationship dynamics where we have so-called energy vampires coming into our ecosystem. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, you literally cannot attract an energy that is not resonating with you. It is virtually, literally impossible. You can only attract to yourself what you are resonating with. At every waking moment, this is the truth. At every sleeping moment, this is the truth. Actually, I created an entire video on how to go to sleep. Well, I said uh, success through your sleep, in essence, is the video. And it basically covers how most of us condition our minds right before we go to sleep for more limiting beliefs, more destructive belief systems. We don't look over the, the contents of our subconscious. Instead, we just feed ourselves anything. We go to sleep into our subconscious state. And we are making ourselves susceptible to a lot of madness, but that's a, a subject for another time completely. Make sure to watch that video when you get a chance. But back to the subject at hand. As far as the quote unquote energy vampire is concerned, you never have to protect yourself from not only that, but there is no need to protect yourself from anything because the energy of I need to protect myself is actually giving off a signal to life that you are unsafe. I, I, trust me, I know this might be a new concept, so let me break it down. Like attracts like, so joy attracts joy, fear attracts fear, right? So if you're coming from a state of consciousness or a state of belief that I need to protect myself, that is inherently saying at an energetic or an emotional state that I am unsafe. 
And if that is the belief that I'm holding on to, then I'm going to have representations of not being safe within my physical experience. So it's literally creating the problem. This is why fixations on problems create more of the problem. Worrying is praying for the thing that you do not desire. I made a whole video just on that. So when we are in a state of I have to protect or preserve myself, what we're saying to life is that life is dangerous and therefore there are people out to get me. Whereas when we're living at a state of freedom, at a state of highest consciousness, love, bliss, joy, uh, even a peace, passion, whatever it may be. When we're at higher states of vibration, those energies can't even come into our lives. And it's only when we start to fixate on, oh no, here they come. They're going to get me. These people want my energy. Now we're feeding into that. And the more we feed into that, the more we find ourselves in situations where that is coming into our lives continuously. I'm telling y'all, this ain't the truth you want to hear, but it's the one that you need to hear because it's the only absolute truth. And again, it's not one that was easy for me to accept. I wanted it to be, I can blame something else. It has to be them. I just have to create better boundaries. I have to run away. I have to send them away. They need to lock them up and throw them you know, in, in the pits of, of Tartarus, of Hades, of hell. But anything besides, oh, I'm the one who's actually bringing this into my own life experience. That's not an easy truth to accept, but it is necessary in order for us to become free in order for us to live in truth and to live in power from a place of power. So there's no need to protect yourself. As a matter of fact, no need to protect yourself from anything. And I know that sounds crazy, especially when you have lived a life that has been filled with manifestations that say I am unsafe. But all of those have come from conditioning, childhood conditioning, right? Childhood programs, childhood uh, belief systems that we carried on into young adulthood and then adulthood. And those belief systems were oftentimes of life is not safe. And so we attracted situations that were based upon that or beliefs that I am inadequate. I am unworthy. I'm deserving. Those same belief systems are going to attract a life to ourselves. That is nothing more than a representation of exactly that. So you want to get rid of the quote unquote energy vampires. You got to get rid of the energy vampire within you. It's the only way. Appreciate you guys for tapping in. I'm going to tap in with you the next time. Until the next time, namaste, namaskar.